Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am so excited because we are gonna be doing a full face featuring ColourPop. It's been about a year and a half since my last full face of ColourPop video and I feel like they've evolved so much. I mean, when I did that video, they didn't even have powders. I don't think they had foundations at all. I think I just used concealers in that video. So they've come a long way. I'm really, really excited because I love ColourPop. They're such an affordable brand and for the most part, a lot of the things that I have tried from there have been on point. So I really took my time when I was on their website. I was just really browsing through things, picking out colors and things that I don't already have or that I haven't tried from their website previously. So I'm really excited to dive into new products as well as some old favorites that I haven't really used in a while, like their stick foundation I really, really liked at one point and I kind of forgot about it, as well as their no filter setting powder. Anyways, I'm rambling. I hope you guys are doing well. As always, don't forget to grab a snack and let's get started. Okay, so I did want to mention that I did purchase a lip scrub from them, which I didn't even know that they had this, so I was really excited about that. And this one is in Coco Loco, which literally tastes and smells like coconut, and I am all about it, especially in the summer and spring. I love scents like this. So that is what it looks like. So I really did like this. I literally just scrubbed my lips, and they feel really, really soft right now. And then I did go over top with the ColourPop Lippy Balm, which I really, really like. It feels really creamy on the lips, super hydrating and not sticky. It kind of just reminds me of like a traditional like Aquaphor, um, sort of like Vaseline lean but not really and it's not sticky which I really like so yeah I like this I like those two products so far so good okay so first I'm gonna just go ahead and fill in my brows I'm gonna use the precision brow pencil this is one of my holy grail brow pencils I probably have like four of these currently in my collection they're just so good now they do have a different brow pencil but you have to get the precision one the precision one is the bomb diggity and I don't think this is sold at Ulta I think this is directly just on their website but it's worth it. And my perfect shade is in Bang and Brunette. So I'm just gonna take this and literally just outline the brows. See how easy it is? I mean, obviously you could fill in your brows with this as well. I just prefer to use pencils for outlining, but it's just like a really nice creamy formula and it's not too waxy on the brows. It's just, it's perfect. And they do have a bunch of different shades in this as well. So it's just a good brow pencil. Go get it and then thank me later. And then for pomade, I have the same exact shade in Bang & Brunette. I'm pretty sure I used this before, to be honest. I don't really remember my thoughts on it, but we're gonna use it again today. And I'm gonna use their angled brush that they have. This is the E14. It comes with a spoolie as well. And we'll see how this applies the product. Oh, I think this is gonna be a good color for me, yes. It's pretty creamy so far. This is a really nice consistency. Okay, so far so good with everything. I really like that brow pomade. That was like a really, really great formula. It's like exactly what I look for in a pomade, so. A plus. So now I'm gonna jump into the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna prime my lids. I didn't see any eyeshadow primer on their website, so I'm gonna just use my NYX Proof Fit eyeshadow primer, which is my favorite. I do have some brushes that I'm gonna be using from ColourPop. I have used them before. Some of them I like, some of them I'm not a huge fan of. In general, they are nice quality, but I just feel like for like how I do my makeup and everything, all the brushes that they have just don't fit into my routine. But the ones that I have tried that I do like, they're really, really good quality. So for eyeshadows today, I'm gonna to be using this one. This is the Through My Eyes palette from I Love Sarai. This is like the collab that Karen did with ColourPop, which I thought was so, so beautiful. I mean, this is just stunning. And the names are also inside the palette as well, which I love. So I'm gonna start off with the shade right here, which is called In A Wink, and I'm gonna use that to set all over my lid. Kind of just like a muted, neutral cream color. Oh, I like that, because it's kind of like very similar to my skin tone. So I'm just gonna take that shade, pack it on, and bring it up to the brow bone. So random, but I actually ordered the Just My Luck palette, which is like that green palette. I don't know if that was limited edition, but I added it to my cart. And then after I added it and I like checked out and everything, I was like, oh, I should never got that because it's like green. And I was like, am I really gonna use that? So it's funny because I was like, you know, I'll make something work. If anything, I'll just like, donate it, give it away, whatever. But I ended up not getting that palette. I guess maybe it was out of stock and I got this one, the It's My Pleasure palette. And I'm so happy because this is so cute. I was gonna get this, but I was like, 
I'm gonna get the green to like switch it up and do something different, but like I'm so happy with this palette. So I, I can't wait to use this too. I will definitely use this in a separate tutorial. I just thought that was interesting. It's like they read my mind. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Wild Soul. It's like a really beautiful mustard. And I'm gonna be buffing that right into the crease. Look at that pigment. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I also love how this palette comes with a mirror. It's like really convenient. I have tried ColourPop eyeshadows before and they're really nice, especially for the price. I mean, really can't beat it. I guess, I mean, it is a little overwhelming going on their website because you're like, what do I buy? Because they have so much to choose from, but I guess that's actually good because then you have like a ton to choose from. Like you have a lot of variety on their website, especially with eyeshadow palettes, which I think is nice because a lot of us have a lot of neutral palettes and I feel like they have a good mixture of neutral palettes and then palettes with like pops of color and everything. Wow, this is really, really vibrant. I feel like it's coming off a little bit more of like an orangey color versus a mustard, but... It's pretty. This is blending out really nicely. I love this shade. I built it up quite a bit, as you can see. Also, if I seem a little low energy in this video, I'm totally fine. I just didn't really get enough sleep last night. I kept waking up, so I'm just tired. Okay, then I'm gonna use a ColourPop blending brush. This one is old. I'm pretty sure their new brushes have names on them. I'm, I think, let me check. Yeah, so their new brushes have like the numbers on them. The old ones don't, but this is just like their blending brush. This is actually a really, really nice blending brush. So I'm gonna be picking up a little bit of the shade Euphoric right here. It's like a really nice coral. And I'm also gonna buff that in the crease a little bit lower, like versus where I just applied that shade. All right, I'm gonna go with the shade right here, which is called Muse. And I'm gonna be applying that using a flat concealer brush that they have. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know the names of this. I got these brushes like forever ago. So I'm gonna try to go in without spraying my brush just to see how it looks with no spray. Okay, yeah, I feel like spray is definitely needed. The color shows up, but I feel like it just needs a little something extra. like a bronzy rose gold shade sometimes it's so annoying like i know you guys get annoyed because i get annoyed but whenever i'm doing my makeup and i just get so into it that sometimes i don't finish my sentences it's very annoying that's really really pretty but you definitely need spray with it so not a big deal though because i do that with all of my shadows like whether they're affordable or high-end it's always a must. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade right here, which is called Lucido, I think that's how you say it. And I'm gonna use that same brush. And I'm just gonna kind of add that right to the inner part of my lid. I'm also gonna be using that in the inner corner later. Just wanna add a little bit of lightness to that area. Just really opens up the eyes. A little pop so pretty I love that so so far the sheets are really really nice the mattes are blendable the shimmers are buildable which is nice if you want something a little bit more natural you can just keep it subtle if you want it to be more intense definitely recommend packing on the shade and building it up with spray I'm gonna take the shade right here which is called the Vina which this is kind of like a deep purple eggplant color I'm gonna use a Sigma e25 blending brush tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna kind of apply that right on the lower part of the crease on the outer lid area. So I'm first starting off with like packing motions and then I'm very lightly kind of dusting that back and forth in the crease area. So this is my motion that I'm doing with my hand. It's just very, very light because this color is actually very, very dark. Um, it could almost pass for like a really deep chocolate brown close to black color. I love like deep purples with orange and yellows. I think it's so stunning. These are like some of my favorite colors to work with, especially with brown eyes. I think it looks so pretty. I'm gonna take the shade Muse again and I'm gonna just kind of add that back into the center of my lid with my finger because I don't want to lose that really gorgeous rose gold bronzy shade. Just kind of adding that, perfect. 
This is really pretty. I like the, this combo. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Beauty by Rosita blending brush, and I'm gonna take the Mustard Shade Wild Soul, top off the excess, and I'm gonna just kind of run that right in the crease very, very lightly. I am really digging this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some winged liner and lashes, but I'm first gonna be applying, of course, my e.l.f. eye tapes. You guys already know. All right, so now for liner. Um, they have a new like pen liner, and I'm here for it. This is the liquid liner in numero uno, which is just a black. So this has like a really nice pen felt tip, and I typically prefer liquid liners, but these can be a little bit easier to work with, I think, especially if you're a beginner with liner. So we'll see how this applies. I'm gonna just literally follow along with the wow that's black with the eye tape okay i do have their volumizing mascara this one is in black on black really nice big wand which i like Oh wow, this is definitely super black as well. They do have a bunch of colored mascaras too. I'm just personally not into colored mascaras because I wear falsies and I don't have like amazing lashes, but I did see like Kathleen Lights wearing them and they look amazing. So if you're into it and you have good lashes, check out their colored mascaras because they're like super vibrant from what I can see. So I am gonna pop on some falsies. I don't know which ones I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna just be right back, put them on, and I'll let you guys know which ones they are or I'll leave them in the description box below. So. I'll see you in one second. Okay, lashes are on. I went with the Ardell 253 Mega Volume Lashes. I believe I got these either at Ulta or Sally's Beauty Supply, so I will link them down below for you. So I'm gonna first go in with the, I was gonna say hey, ColourPop All Star Matte and Blur Face Primer. So it says for smooth, even skin and a matte finish that lasts all day. I am all about a good mattifying primer, so we'll see. This kind of looks like a lotion a little bit. So I'm gonna just apply this pretty much everywhere. Mmm. Smells very citrusy. Well, that really smoothed out my skin really nicely. And then we have the All Star Face Setting Spray. Can we talk about this packaging also? Like this is so cute and like neon, I love it. So this says, shake it, hold it, arms away length, and spray, spray, spray. Don't spray directly into eyes or mouth. Who would do that? That's something I would do actually. I'd be like talking and like trying to spray the setting spray. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this before and after my makeup because I like to have some sort of like primer water. I guess I should have did this before I did the other, but whatever. Mm, that also smells really good. Next up for foundation. So I have two foundations here. I've actually used these before and I will leave my first impressions and wear tests that I've done with these down below in the description box because I'm not gonna be doing a wear test today because I already did a wear test with these products. So they're no filter liquid foundation. I really did like, but it does make me super, super oily. So yeah, this definitely was not a favorite of mine. It wasn't totally terrible, but it does require a lot of touching up throughout the day. So this wasn't like something that I was continuously using for that reason. However, However, their no filter stick foundation was really beautiful. Now this is definitely a very natural finish if you just do a couple stripes on your face, but you can build it up to be really nice coverage. So today I'm gonna be going in with this because I do prefer this one over the traditional liquid foundation and I have mine in the shade medium 90W. And I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out because I found that, because I did find that a brush just works best with this foundation in particular. And the brush I'm gonna be using is from Amazon, link will be below. It is a thicker foundation, so when you blend it out, it's not super, super creamy, but it is really nice, as you can see, it's doable. I definitely recommend using a foundation brush with this foundation. It does not work or blend as great with a like beauty blender or sponge. So I am gonna build this foundation up. I love full coverage. I know a lot of people always ask me, like, why do you like so much coverage if you have nice skin, which is such an awesome compliment. Thank you. Really appreciate you guys who always compliment my skin. But I'm just the type of person where it's like, go hard or go home, especially if I have such a dramatic look like today with the eyes. 
I mean, not dramatic, but you know what I mean. Like, it's a smoky eye. I like to have good coverage. And this foundation does build up really nicely, which is one of my favorite things about it because it's very versatile just depending on the type of coverage and look that you're going for on your face. And it does not get cakey, even though obviously you would think because of how much I'm using, but I'm telling you, it looks so good. I feel like it looks better the longer you wear the foundation versus when you first apply it. Next up for concealer. So I've actually tried their no filter concealer probably like three, four times. Not a fan of this, you guys. I feel like this oxidizes. I'm just not a fan. I definitely prefer the stick foundation versus this, but let's give it another go. Another try. So I got the shade medium 26 and light 18. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good shade. So it is very creamy. It's very blendable. I just, I feel like this definitely oxidizes on me every single time that I used it. I just, I just don't love it. And I'm going to use my wet and wild beauty sponge to blend that out. I really wish that it didn't oxidize because honestly, I think this looks really, really good, but it's just like the color change that I'm not a huge fan of. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This I freaking love. This is an amazing loose setting powder, no flashback, and it looks so soft and so seamless on the skin. If you're looking for something super affordable, this is it. This one is in the shade Translucent. I also do like the shade Banana, but Translucent is my jam for me right now because I don't have any color on me. So I'm going to use my sponge just to press that in. See, like it's so soft and pretty on the skin. Another powder that I absolutely love is the No Filter Sheer Press Powder. Mine is in the shade Medium. This is a really, really nice powder. It doesn't give you any extra coverage. It just really smooths out the skin. So you could also use this underneath your eyes if you like press powders under there, but I'm gonna use it to set the rest of my face. And I'm gonna use a powder brush from them. It's just like a fluffy, rounded brush. I'm gonna just dust some of this all over the face, specifically like on the cheeks. That's where I really like to concentrate the most powder because I'm gonna be using obviously bronzer, blush, and highlight, and I want everything to go on as smooth as possible. Just like a really nice lightweight powder. You could even use this to touch up and I really, really like it. So I've used this before. So I'm gonna just set my brows really quick because I feel like I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna use their Brow Boss Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I used this before, wasn't a fan of it, but you know, I'm all about second chances, so let's try it again. Color is nice, very dark, but I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Should I take off this foundation on my lips? I'm sure a lot of you guys are cringing right now, so let me just take it off. So, moving into bronzer. I've tried their bronzers before. I really, really like them. I always get a shade, though, that's too dark because a lot of the colors, like, that are lighter are always sold out. So, this is gonna be... This is gonna be very dark, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. This one is in the shade Divine. Oh, I wanted to mention also the single blushes and bronzers that they have. You do have to buy this case separate. I think the case is only like two or three dollars though. So just a little FYI, I just popped mine in the pan. Their bronzers are super pigmented, so a little bit definitely goes a long way. You see that color, and that was just like a little bit. Then for blush, I'm gonna use their F14 brush. You guys know, these are my favorite for blush. So I have here the blush. I have this really, really pretty like peachy pink color. I'm gonna just pop that on. Ooh, that is bright. Oh my gosh, I used too much. We're gonna blend it out though. Goes really nice with the eyes, but yeah, a little bit of these go a long way, wow. Very pigmented. This is a nice brush. Their brushes are really nice quality. Very soft. Very nice. I'm going to use the powder brush that I was using. And I'm just going to blend that out because I used way too much. And this has a little leftover powder on it, which is nice because it's just going to diffuse the blush into the skin. You see? 
that looks better than this. <laughs> Next up for highlight, I have this I Like Your Face palette. I've tried ColourPop highlighters as well. Not this palette in particular, but really, really, really nice. Like super beaming, super buttery. This kind of reminds me of the Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Guerrero palette that she did with Anastasia. Like the tones in here are very, very similar. So I love shades like this, especially with like spring and summer coming up. I think this is beautiful. So I'm gonna pick up this color right here, this shade up here, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of that one up there. Oh my goodness. This brush is clean, by the way, so this is just the highlight. Wow, that's really, really pretty. I love how smooth and buttery these products go on. Oh, I like that a lot. This is a really nice palette, I think even for when I'm tan, so it could be very like universal all year round because of the tones in here. Okay, so jumping back into the Through My Eyes palette, I am actually gonna do like a little bit of a pop of this shade right here, which is like a pink. And I'm gonna really press that down on there and make it nice and smoky. Oh, and the shade is Misbehave, by the way. And then I'm gonna use this brush from ColourPop. It's kind of fluffy, it's kind of flat. It's, it's perfect for the lower lashes. I'm gonna take that same color and I'm just gonna smoke that out. Okay, then I'm gonna use their cream gel liner in the shade Call Me. I'm pretty sure I used this before. Wasn't a fan of their formula. I felt like it was a little too rough on my eyes, but maybe it's changed. It's just like a really nice brown. I love brown liner and I feel like it goes well with this look. Yeah, like it's creamy, but you gotta really kind of go over it a couple of times. And I'm just gonna do a coat of mascara. I'm gonna use the same mascara that I was using earlier, the BFF Volumizing. I almost forgot to highlight the inner corners. I'm gonna take the shade Lucido up here, I'm gonna just pop that in there. And this is another ColourPop brush. It's kind of like a dome-shaped brush. Okay, now for lips, which is the final thing, and then we'll be all done. So I've tried quite a few lip products from ColourPop. I've tried their lip liners before. I really liked how creamy they were, but let me see if hopefully this one won't do it. But the lip liner literally would come out. So I had to just throw it out because every time I would sharpen it or use it, the whole lip liner would come out. I've tried their liquid lipsticks. Really, really love them. They can be a little bit drying, but most liquid lipsticks can be a little drying and for their price and for their shade range that they have with their liquid lipsticks i think it's totally worth it i've also tried their ultra satin lips which are incredible if you don't like liquid lipsticks you will love their satin lips because it's just like a really super comfortable liquid lipstick but it's a lot less drying it's very very nice on the lips so they recently came out with lipsticks which i've never tried so i'm going to use them today so first what i'm going to do is just go ahead and line my lips i'm going to use the Lippy pencil, this one is in little one. I feel like they're so creamy, it's so nice. Hopefully that whole sharpening thing won't happen. I actually have their sharpener that I bought on their website. Let me just try to sharpen this and see if that happens again. It didn't, okay. Maybe I just got a dud, I don't know, because I really do like this formula and the shade is Perfect. Okay, so I want to use that nude gloss. So I'm gonna to try to use the shade. I definitely don't want to do like a really bright color. I'm gonna use the shade Mesmerize, their velvet blur lipstick. Packaging is really, really cute. This actually doesn't look like it looks in the tube. It looks a little bit different. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like that because that's like very pink. Okay, let's just go with it. I do a lot of nude lip colors. I just want to feel their formula. Oh. That's creamy. Oh, that's bright. Seems to be matte, 
but creamy. I actually don't mind this color, but I don't, I'm just, I love nude colors. It's really pretty. It, I will say this is a very wearable pink. It's not like very like over the top, which I, I do like. I really want to use this gloss and I don't feel like this is going to match with it. So I'm going to take this off and do a nude just because I really want to use the gloss, but this is pretty. And I'm going to go in with the I Love Sarai and ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This one is in Sueño de Coco. Oh, I love this color, especially with this eye makeup. I love that. I only bought one of these So Juicy Plumping Glosses because I wanted to see if I was going to like it first, like the formula of it. So packaging is cute. I don't mind the squeezy tube packaging. I know some people don't like it, but it, it doesn't bother me. So I'm going to just, oh, and mine, by the way, is in the shade She's Here. Definitely is very wet looking on the lips, but these are sticky. So the final thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and set my makeup. And once again, I'm gonna use the All Star Setting Spray. I have a really, really nice spritzer. All right, guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I really love the way that this turned out. I really only had, I think, like three products that I wasn't obsessed with, but everything else was a hit for me, which is always great when there's more hits than misses. So let me just give you a quick little rundown and mini reviews on each of the products. So. Let's start with what I didn't like. Okay, so for starters, I just wasn't a fan of this concealer. Once again, I feel like it just oxidized on me. I'm not crazy about the coverage. The formula is really creamy, but I just don't like when stuff oxidizes on me because it's just, it gives you like that orange peachy tint. And I feel like this is almost like a color corrector and I'm just, I'm not about it. So the concealer for me is a no-go. Once again, I also don't like this gel liner pencil. I feel like it's not as creamy as what I would like it to be. And I have to go over my waterline like a bunch of times for me to get some color payoff on there so um, I'm gonna pass on this as well I do not like this lip gloss um, I like the concept of it I like the packaging I like how it's minty but I don't like the formula it is very sticky and I just don't love a sticky gloss it kind of reminds me of glosses that I used to purchase when I was younger I mean I do really like the color I, I really like what they have going on but just the formula is not my favorite I do love their ultra glossy lips though those are super creamy moon child is probably my favorite lip gloss from ColourPop, which is the Kathleen Lights collab. That one is incredible. It goes with so many different nudes. If you are like my shade, or even if you're darker or lighter, they could work because it's not a super, super nude shade, but it is stunning. I definitely prefer that formula versus this So Juicy formula. I think honestly, that is pretty much it. Everything else I really did like. I will keep using the setting spray and the primer and the brow gel. Products like this, I have to use at least three to four times to really give you guys a true review and to see how it wears on the skin so I'll keep you posted you'll hear about these probably in like my March hits and misses so stay tuned for that uh yeah everything else I'm obsessed with like I said their stick foundation is nice very natural coverage but it can be buildable if you want a little bit more medium to full coverage their powders I'm obsessed with these are awesome they're so so nice on the skin very soft very airbrushed very beautiful the bronzer and blush I really like I really want to get a lighter shade of the bronzer I feel like that would be a lot better for my skin tone but I was able to make it work it's not muddy and I really like the color even though it is too dark on my skin I think it works. So the blush is also very, very beautiful. I love how easy it was to blend. You guys know I'm very heavy handed with a lot of my products. It's just how I do my makeup. I should learn by now, but I, I don't. But it was very easy to blend and just make it look very seamless on the cheeks. So this is stunning. I love this color. Definitely a really pretty summery shade. I'm so happy that I retried their lip liners because I really loved the formula when I first used them. I just hated the fact that they would like break and come out. But now it's working for me. I do really like also the lipstick that I use. Obviously I didn't wear it throughout the day, but first impression, it's very creamy. It's very matte and it feels very comfortable. Oh yeah. I also really did like this liner. Like this is nice. It's not totally matte, but I love how black it is. So I think that makes up for it. So that double thumbs up mascara amazing and I don't even have amazing lower lashes but this is really really nice two standout products for me out of everything that I used besides what I already used before like the brow pencil and the powders and everything are definitely this highlighting palette I think this is incredible it's so buttery so so nice on the skin it's just very wet like 
oh, I'm just obsessed with the shades in here too. So this is definitely worth trying. I would highly recommend this, especially for spring and summer. I think that's a really nice palette to have. And then this eyeshadow palette is amazing. The shades in here are so pigmented. I love the variety. I like how everything kind of just flows together. I feel like you can create a lot of looks with this and I'm here for it. So this collab is bomb. And last but not least, I'm obsessed with their lippy balm and the lippy scrub. Very nice combo. It smells like coconut. I'm pretty sure they had other scents as well. Don't quote me, but the coconut isn't too overwhelming or anything, so it's really, really nice, and I would repurchase these. So that is it for this first impressions, kind of one brand tutorial featuring ColourPop. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know what your favorites are from ColourPop because I kind of want to put in another order because I love so many of their products, especially their lip products. I'm here for them. So leave me your favorites down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye!